All right, listen up. If you have a potato computer that's running this game with something under 60 FPS, you need to take a couple minutes and check this video out. If you want to maximize your gaming performance and compete at a high level, you will also want to check this video out. You should probably just check this video out in general if you play Marvel Rivals. I'm Ryan, so let's get started. If your computer is looking something like this where you have uh, 30 FPS trying to play this game in this extreme laggy scenario, um, I'm just showing you guys how to increase your FPS with uh, pretty much two methods. So the first method is by going into your Marvel Rival game settings and changing all the settings in display to optimize performance. And the second method is by going into your Windows settings and changing all of your graphics settings in here. So let's get started with the Marvel Rival settings and all the things that you should be doing and how they work. So step one, at least for me, take off Lumen FPS. As you can see, I have about 140 FPS. And just to compare uh, from the beginning to the end, let's say I was sitting on Ultra Settings. And it's currently giving me about 80 to 90. Now, one of the biggest problems is things like uh, Doctor Strange Portal. Like, cool, I get 80 to 90 FPS, that's okay. Um, but what if I use a Doctor Strange Portal? Let's put this over here somewhere. Ah, I dropped 30 FPS, how convenient for me, and now I'm starting to lag. I don't know if you guys uh, dealt with this, I'm sure you did, especially if you have a little potato computer without optimized settings. But this is exactly what happens, and then you're just automatically at a disadvantage. So let's go into your settings. At the top here, you'll see display. And let's start messing around with the settings at the bottom first. This optimize button, it'll get you somewhere, but it's not actually optimized because like I just showed you, if you use that Doctor Strange portal, you'll still lose a good 30 FPS. So if the optimized settings are taking you to 60 or 80 or 90, you're still not getting as much as you should. So here we are pretty much prioritizing uh, performance over quality but the settings that i am changing will not affect the quality to where you'll notice it too much and that's why these are my favorite settings so just follow along here i can explain these but it's kind of self-explanatory a little bit for each type of setting so for this one we'll do ssgi it might say low quality here you could do that one the reflection quality we can keep this as screen space reflections Model detail, we'll want to leave that as high. You can make it low if you want, but I noticed that the model detail doesn't really affect FPS too much, and it just gives the game a little, a, a nicer little pop when you're actually playing it, since the model detail is the first thing that you see on your screen. So I like to leave this on high. Now, let's go into the things that dramatically affect your FPS. Post processing, we will want to leave this to low. Shadows, also low. Texture detail. Um, if you make this low, your game might look a little bit ugly. Um, I would suggest leaving it on medium if you can. And for the effects, we'll also leave that too low. And foliage quality, we will leave that too low. So these are my favorite graphic settings here. And it will absolutely affect your FPS. So make sure you hit apply, go back to your game. You'll notice I went all the way up to 140, 150 FPS. We can test this out with a Doctor Strange portal just to see how much I might lag with this stupid portal when a Doctor Strange likes to ult. I'll face it that way. You can see we're at like 100, 110. It's still spiking all over the place. So there's a few other optimizations we can make. It looks like when I start to run, is when it starts to lag a little bit. If I'm standing still, it's a little bit better, and it's just the optimization of the game. So let's further optimize our game and see how much FPS we can get out of it. All right, so back to the display settings. Now that we've finished the bottom portion, let's work on the top. So this super resolution type, you'll want to do NVIDIA DLSS. If you have an AMD uh, graphics card, you'll want to switch that to AMD FSR. But these are generally the kind of one and the same. Um, the video graphics card, I would just keep it here. So for super resolution, this does impact your FPS quite a lot. Um, now, I like to leave it on balanced, but keep in mind, if you have additional performance issues and you want to 
get that FPS up higher, you can bring it down to performance. If you want to, I would start with balance to see how much FPS you can get out of it. And if you want more, switch it to performance. You won't see much of a difference in the game. And the super resolution sharpening, you can leave it on default as 80. I would not actually move this anywhere. Now for these two settings, I would leave them both off. Now frame generation mode is another one of those things. You can turn it on, okay? If you're suffering from FPS where your game is just unplayable, okay, it will give you an FPS boost, but keep in mind, it's also going to increase the late. Just keep in mind, it's also going to increase the latency for your game. And what this means is it's basically going to take longer time for your input of your computer, right? So if you're shooting, it's going to take longer for that input to reach the servers. And you can see in the top right, it says I have 33 ping. If that setting goes on, technically that ping is going to feel a little bit higher, which means, again, it takes longer for your inputs to get to the server, which means if it looks like you're hitting somebody on your screen and you're not, it's because of ping. And that's really all it is, because on their screen, you're not hitting them on your screen. You are on the server you are not because of the ping difference if you have any more questions about how that actually works you can leave a comment below and i'll be happy to explain it in a little bit more detail now also keep in mind right down here where it says uh show fps make sure you can check that on if you wanted to test things out just so you can see this top right uh piece of data to keep track of your fps and testing all your settings and the last setting that i didn't really go over is vsync you can keep that on i would not turn it off but your game will look like poop and just to show you guys, if you have uh, the super resolution mode on quality, you can see I'm at that 140, 150 area. If I move it down to performance, and now it goes to 160, 170. So it's a nice little bump. Of course, it's going to be a little bit harder to see on my computer, but if you're going from 60 to 80 or from 30 to 50, um, and that 20 FPS jump is going to be a lot more significant if you have lower FPS, okay? So make sure you do do these settings. I know it doesn't look like too much on mine, but that's because I have a monster computer, so I don't really count. Now, one of the last things in the settings that I want to go over is your FPS and the FPS limit, okay? Generally, if you want to really optimize things, you will want to set this to an FPS that your computer can either one, handle, or two, it's your computer's refresh rate, or rather your, your monitor's refresh rate. Because your FPS uh, number here if it's going way over what your monitor can actually do refresh rate wise, then you're just using hardware resources for absolutely no reason. You're not going to actually see a difference. Okay. And at the same time, if your FPS limit is 240 and your monitor can do 60 and you're lagging, it's because this should actually be brought down to your monitor's refresh rate. That way everything can keep its resources down. So play around with this. I will show you right now how to check your monitor's refresh rate if you don't know what it is already. Now I'm going to go ahead and exit my game and I'll show you guys how to check your uh, display setting. So here we are going to now go over how to check your monitor's refresh rate. So if you saw there, I right click my desktop, hit display settings. Another way to get there is by going into your start menu either head, heading over to your settings, typing in settings, typing in display. There's a number of ways, um, but we want to get to system display settings here. You could see here I have two monitors, so you're going to just look for the monitor that you are playing on. You can hit identify to make sure you have the right one. Go ahead and select that. Make sure it's highlighted and scroll down to advanced display. So here you will see what your monitor looks like, how many hertz it can do. This choose refresh rate is what we're looking for. And you could tell this hertz goes all the way up to 270 for me. Technically, this is if I overclock my monitor because I have a gaming monitor. Um, you will usually be between the 60 and 144 range. And some gaming monitors usually go up to 240. What I would say is after 144 hertz, you can't really notice a difference up here, okay? So 
If you ever wanted to get a monitor, I would go for something closer to 144 hertz to get the best gaming performance out there. Now, again, you don't really need this. You can go for a 60 hertz monitor. This is usually for people that just want to be overly competitive or want to spend more money on a monitor just for the fun of it. But either way, this is how you check your refresh rate. And when you go back into Marvel Rivals, you can check that cap for FPS to whatever your monitor's refresh rate is. Now, let's go over a few things. Number one, um, this is more of just a little tip. If you have a NVIDIA graphics card and you're using a GeForce Experience, right? Um, I don't have this installed. It's an EXE that's on my computer. I would suggest just uninstalling it. It looks fancy. It looks like it's doing a lot of great things for you, but there are a lot more issues that come from it than it actually resolves. So I would uninstall GeForce Experience, ignore it, don't use it. Um, because it will try to set your game settings for you and it'll mess all this up. And most of the time, setting the game settings through GeForce Experience is not as efficient or performance heavy. So I can't stress this enough, uninstall GeForce Experience and don't ever look back. And with that being said, you might want to install the latest driver for your graphics card. You could just do a quick Google search of whatever graphics card you have. For example, I would just Google RTX 3070 and then drivers at the end of it. And the probably the first link is going to pop up with the driver install. So make sure you grab that if you didn't already. Now off to our settings. If you go into Windows settings and go to this gaming tab, again, you can kind of use the search bar if you want to go to game mode settings. This is what we're really looking for. All right, so that comes up there, or you can go here, go to game mode, and we're in the same exact spot. This game mode, optimize your PC to play so this game mode here, optimize your PC for play by turning things off in the background. You will want that on. This is actually a good benefit to your computer when you play games. You don't want things doing extra stuff in the background using your computer's resources. If you ever wanted to check out your computer resources, you can open up Task Manager. Okay. So here in this performance tab, you can see everything in your computer and all of the performance utilizations. This will help keep this performance down so it doesn't bottleneck your computer when you're playing games. For example, if you ever capped out on your memory, your computer will start freezing. If, you, if you're capping out your processor or capping out your graphics card, your computer could start getting slower over time or your FPS will start to struggle. So again, keeping this game mode on is definitely beneficial. So let's go over to this graphics tabs here. And now the most important settings that we're looking for is optimization for Windows games. Keep that on. Again, this is a nice little FPS boost. So what this is doing is, as it says, it helps your games with their performance by optimizing Windows settings for the most part. So here we have this advanced graphic settings. Hit that drop down and we will see hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Now, this is honestly in the tech community a controversial topic. Lots of people say it'll turn it like turn it on, it'll you know give you a boost in performance, and that is technically true, but it has some drawbacks. One, it is not stable, which means there are a lot of pieces of software and games that will ask you to turn hardware acceleration off because it causes some type of stuttering or weird bug and things like that. So my best recommendation is use this as a last resort. If you need that extra little boost in FPS or you're having just an immense amount of difficulty running games, you can try out this setting, okay? Feel free to. Just keep an eye on all these weird issues that might come with it like either tearing in your screen or it's you know getting stuck or bugging out, your FPS looks fine but it's still freezing, then this might be the cause and you would wanna turn it back off. But again, if you're really struggling, turn it on, see if it helps you. Um, sometimes it can, sometimes it won't. Um, just see for yourself, honestly. But I would try to leave it off by default. Variable refresh rate, you can leave that on. And now the last thing that we are going to look at is Marvel Rivals. So go ahead and type Marvel Rivals in here. If you do have a Windows 10 computer, it might look a little bit different in the settings, but it's all generally the same. So you'll see Marvel Rivals, or honestly, you can do this with any game. Um, make sure that the GPU preference is not on power saving. 
You can let Windows decide, but I usually like to select the graphics card itself to make sure it doesn't accidentally move over to the power saving or my integrated processors graphics card. And just to make sure it stays on my actual graphics card. So we can go ahead and select that. This should be on just like the toggle up here. And that is really it guys. So these are all of the settings that I was able to play around with whether it was the Marvel Rival settings in game or your computer settings to increase all of the performance options that you have available to you. There are some more technical things that you can try if you are just having a ton of difficulty getting enough FPS to make the game playable, but hopefully with all of these settings, that is not the case, especially because I gave you a couple other options that you can try to turn on to really maximize your performance. But I do really appreciate you guys watching. Let me know if you have any issues or questions in the comments below, or if you want to see any other kind of video. So thanks again for watching. I'll catch you in the next one.